what piece of history is hidden in this parking lot in the middle of urban sprawl in Houston, Texas? No, it's not the church, but it's right behind me. Join me today on Walk Through Texas History, as we shall find out. We are now standing in front of a log cabin that was built in the 30s here in Houston, Texas. It's surrounded by urban sprawl around us. This house was built in, the, in like I said, 1931 and 32 by Edith L. Moore and her husband, Jesse Moore. She came to Houston and during World War I, uh, serving uh, for Camp Logan in Memorial Park. Her and her husband built this house, and some of the stones around the front and the fireplace are made up of recycled curbside material from downtown Houston. This house sits on 17 and a half acres here in the middle of Houston, just outside the Beltway. It's a nature preserve, and the Houston Audubon Society actually owns it and runs it. We'll take a closer look at the house and the log cabin, like I said, it was built in the 30s, which is a little unusual considering the time frame when it was built. And we'll get a closer look right now at the historical marker right in front of us. Here's the historical marker. And like I said, built in 31, 32 by the husband, uh, Jesse Moore and his wife, Edith L. Moore. Uh, she died in 1975 and willed this to the Houston Audubon Society. And it's a, little piece of uh, treasure here in the middle of urban sprawl in, in Houston. I think it's really great that it's still here. And Runnels Creek actually runs right behind us. And that's part of the reason why this, uh, this area has remained intact. Let's get a closer look at the house. So here are some of those curb stones that were in downtown Houston. And they took them and recycled them. Get a closer look at the front porch. You can see the great logs that were built there. And this house has been restored, but it's still in great uh, shape looking for the age of the house itself. There's a fireplace and it was broken apart in pieces from Houston curb stone. They made a fireplace. And you can see more of the windows and the log cabin structure, the corners there. And while this is not really history, it shows you a little bit about the Houston Audubon Society and the Edith L. Moore House and Nature Sanctuary. They've got another building behind me that's newer. And uh, all around here is walking trails and the Nature Sanctuary on Runnels Creek. And uh, it survives because of her generous donation. Here's a large front porch that we have here on the side and the front porch itself, which is right here. And you can see a great look of that, those joints there. It's just awesome. I tried to see if I can go inside, but it was, it was locked up. Uh, they just have a couple offices in there for the nature preserve itself. There's nothing dramatic inside. And it literally looks, the inside walls look like the outside walls, as a log cabin should. We'll go around and catch the front, and that should be it. I actually said the front of the uh, building, but this is actually the rear. And it's actually facing the parking lot here. But that's about it for today. I just wanted to take a quick visit and see the old log cabin. Built in the 30s here in Houston, still standing. Glad it is. It's near near 100 years old. It's 80 years old now. And uh, 
I'm glad it was able to, to withstand and give us this nature preserve and park here in the middle of uh, Houston off Memorial Drive and Beltway 8, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Memorial Drive is probably 100 feet, actually probably 250 feet just to my uh, north here. So that'll do it today. Hope you enjoyed it. A little short trip at the Edith Moore Audubon Society and Sanctuary here in Houston, Texas. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook. And again, I appreciate all the support. Have a good one, folks.